come up with your own input values. That is the constant, right. She is going to be constant. The counting part, right? This one's the easy one. All right, so therefore. They're shaded. And actually, it's not necessarily the parts that are shaded, okay? And that's part of what this exercise does, is it because, see, right here. Off to the side here, our constant is four. The MathWorks curriculum gives me an opportunity to be uh, more hands on, more involved with the students, uh, with the math concepts. I taught for, for 17 years. And a number of the textbooks that I've worked with in the past have been uh, somewhat dry. Um, and this one gets the teacher and the students involved together. That's nice to see. Okay. Now I want you to just think about these. The, the great thing I, I like about the math explorations and, and what encourages me and, and interests me in, in following it as an evaluator is, is that it's an example of something that's not a mile wide and inch deep. It's, it, it is very deep. Uh, the exercises, the examples, the development uh, gets at mathematics in a, in a deeper way. And it uh, conforms with and aligns with many of the uh, better ideas and, and more recent ideas about about mathematics curriculum. Do I 1,200 or 12,000? Some curriculums are just skills based and some curriculums are just problem based and this one I, th I think it melds both of those things together so you can you the kids are getting the skills and they're figuring out story problems and understanding um, you know why things are happening so it kind of melds both of those together. Get into that one three three five five seven what I like about the curriculum is the fact that it has many different uh, aspects. It helps those who struggle a little bit because it explains very well um, in the chapters what we're doing. It also has, um, you can turn it into group work, you can also leave it individual work. kind of gives them um, an opportunity to work by themselves or with someone and it still teaches the concept well. So I've just felt really comfortable teaching it. I think the kids have a good time. So, um, and I think they're really getting some algebra stuff that will have them ready. So, I'm excited. Often teachers come and do a workshop or even if they come in the summer, uh, they're by themselves. And, and uh, then in the fall when they go back to their schools, uh, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't, maybe they'll try these things, maybe they won't. But there's this notion which in uh, educational psychology is called scaffolding, uh, in which you're, you're building knowledge, you're building uh, teaching ability and building things, uh, but any building uh, needs a scaffold to start with. You, you don't just sort of let it stand on its own. Uh, so that's one of the, one of the things that's uh, very important in the way Max's uh, program and the math explorations program is, is built. The exercises that we work on are very rich in, uh, in algebra. It's a lot of algebra-based material having, uh, getting my students ready for, for their next, next class, eighth grade, but also uh, algebra readiness just as well. You now have two sheets of paper, and we are going to make those. And one of the things that I like is that there's a lot of explorations and experimentation, and it gives the children a chance to get hands-on with their math. The best thing I like about the math book is that in every section or chapter, it talks about um, like new things. It tells you how to learn it in a fun way, and there's also activities about it. Um, so you can learn faster and also fun. What I like best about the curriculum is that it has a good it has an extensive use of vocabulary which um, helps us elaborate throughout the lessons that we learn. The math uh, explorations book is the word explorations is in the title and it's in the materials. That's exactly the kind of thing that that is strong. It, it builds on what students know. Uh, it, it lets them explore before they're given the definition or given the, uh, an example to do. So uh, the notion of, of letting kids explore, working informally, and then building on abstractly is something that the Math Explorations textbook does an excellent job of. Uh, we've seen uh, 
excellent progress on, uh, on the Oral and Santa Algebra aptitude test. We have uh, sixth and seventh graders that are scoring uh, at the same level as eighth graders nationally would score, which indicates that uh, uh, I think it turned out about two-thirds of the uh, seventh graders were ready for algebra and, and uh, I think half or more of the sixth graders scored at a level that, that you'd expect eighth graders to score at. And, and this was really only after a year of, of real implementation and so uh, we're excited about that. On the, on the uh, tax tests, uh, the students are, are, uh, are scoring at and above the, the levels in the state and uh, one uh, really interesting idea, example is that in, in McAllen, which is mainly uh, an Hispanic population, uh, the kids scored way, way well above uh, the average, the Texas average for Hispanic kids. Uh, Texas sorts out students by their, uh, by their ethnic backgrounds. And that's really important because it's a national problem, it's a statewide problem, uh, this, this notion of an achievement gap between uh, African American kids, Hispanic kids, and, and uh, white kids. Uh, there's this huge gap. Uh, it's closing slightly and slowly nationally, but uh, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a problem. And, and if, if, the, if the data continues to hold up, which we don't see, if anything, it should improve as, as further implementation takes place. Uh, the, the notion that this program can ch close this achievement gap is probably one of the most exciting things for, for the future of math education.